Oh dear students, today we will see working of n channel JFT. Now for that we will take first what is an n channel JFT. So it will be a n type semiconductor bar. It will be a n type semiconductor bar. In that you have p type regions. You have p type regions. So this is n type, n type. This is p-type semiconductor, this is p-type se semiconductor. These both p-type semiconductors are internally connected and this terminal will be called as gate. This terminal will be called as gate. The terminal on top will be called as drain and terminal down will be called as source. Okay, now this is how we, are, we, we have seen the structure of n channel JFT. Now if you apply an appropriate voltage, now voltage between drain and source, voltage between drain and source should be such that the majority charge carriers in this which are electrons should flow from source to drain, should flow from source to drain. Now if you want this type of flow, that means whatever you connect here should be a, a rippling action and whatever you connect here should be a attractive action. So this electrons by a point here should be repelled and electrons here should be attracted. So if you want these electrons to be repelled, then if these are negative charge particles, electrons, then you should have a negative supply at this point okay and if you want to attract this then you should have a positive supply at this point so this is plus this is minus so this is your voltage between drain and source voltage between drain and source now what will happen is electrons from source will flow towards drain because of this voltage okay similarly here I want to give a reverse bias voltage. Reverse bias voltage means for p-type semiconductor, I will connect a negative supply. I will connect a negative supply and this should be variable because I want to vary this. This is your VGS voltage between gate and source. Okay. Now initially, initially VGS will be zero and VDS will be zero. When both are zero, a small p-n junction will be formed here. A small p-n junction will be formed here. Okay. And then there will be no flow of current. There will be no flow of current. The electrons will not flow from source to drain. So this is the flow. This, this is how your current ID will flow. But now because this is zero, this is zero initially, there is no flow of current. There is no flow of current. Okay. Now, when you increase this VDS, increase this VDS, keep VDS zero only, increase this VDS, at some point, at some point, at specific point, which is called as pinch of voltage, you will get a constant electrons going from source to drain. Initially, it will increase, but at some specific voltage of VDS, it will remain constant. This flow of electrons will go from source to drain and that will be your maximum current, maximum drain current when VDS is when VDS is greater than V pinch or pinch voltage. Okay, pinch of voltage. You can call it as pinch of voltage. Okay. So at that time it is constant, it is last point, and that much current flows, that those many electrons will flow from source to drain. That will be your maximum drain current I. Okay. Now, if you increase this VGS voltage, then the reverse bias on these two junctions will increase. Depletion layer will become wide. Depletion layer will become wide because you are increasing the VGS and the channel width, channel width will decrease channel width will decrease. So, less electrons will flow. That means, 
as you increase this reverse bias the depletion width will go on increasing and number of electrons which flow from source to drain will decrease that means drain current will decrease so if you are increasing this reverse bias voltage you will decrease the drain current because the depletion layer will increase and the channel width will become small that means the drain current is controlled by variation of gate source voltage so this is the voltage which is going to control the current of the jfd so voltage controlled device voltage is controlling the current okay so this is your voltage controlled device this is how your n channel jfd